friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intumescent cataract let us observe this totally unedited surgery after thorough cleaning of the ocular surface this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is the main incision and now the anterior capsule is stained with trypan blue dye underneath an air bubble because if we apply the dye underneath an air bubble the staining is very nice and very quick in 10 to 15 seconds the staining is very nice we must apply the dye in all parts of the anterior capsule there should not be any part unstained this is adrenaline to maintain the dilatation of the people and now the dye is washed out i use a simco cannula to wash the dye out of the anterior chamber and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now is the main step doing the herexis. I go with the uterita forceps, make a small puncture in the anterior capsule at the central part and hold the capsule tag and do a small herexis at this moment. The idea is to decompress the capsular bag. I aspirate a lot of cortex, tap on the nucleus so that cortex from behind come anteriorly and aspirate all the cortex. I try to rotate the nucleus and most of the time it rotates. And now we can see that the, the part which is just in front of the main wound there is a lot of cortex and that part of the capsule is elevated. We must not try enlarging the rexis at this moment. The side port on the left side was not made so I make the main, uh, side port on the left side and aspirate the cortex from this area. And now the anterior capsule will be flat in all quadrants. Unless the anterior capsule is flat in all quadrants, don't try enlarging the rexis. You will find, someday you will find that the part which was elevated, in that part the capsule will, the capsule will run out. And now I uh, make a small nick at the margin of the anterior, uh, at the margin of the small rexis, mini rexis and enlarge it. So I am enlarging the small rexis into an adequate size drawn and making it almost 5 millimeter. And now is the easiest part, nucleus management. This cataract is not very hard. So ultrasonic energy is about 60%. Flow rate, I am using now it is 475 millimeter of mercury. And sorry, flow rate 47 ml per minute and vacuum 475 millimeter of mercury. This is a brittle nucleus. It could be cracked easily into fragments and I could emulsify the pieces. And now it is I'm making this habit of cleaning a lot of cortex by the handpiece itself and leave a very little for the Simcoe cannula. 
There's some cortex all around underneath the anterior capsular rim. I'm going to remove that by the Simco. So, the main step in intumescent cataracts is capsular excess. We must do a small excess first. Aspirate cortex make the intralenticular pressure low. Fill up the anterior chamber again with visco. Cut the margin of the mini axis, enlarge it and then do the nucleus management. And now is the time to implant the intraocular lens. The main incision is enlarged little bit so that the cartridge can be easily engaged. This is a B cartridge. The main wound is about 2.9 or 3 millimeter now. Here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens. And we can see that the optic of the intraocular lens is nicely covered all around by the anterior capsular rim. So, the size of this rex is, is less than 6 millimeter, it is about 5 or 5.25 millimeter. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration with BSS. The anterior chamber is nicely formed by the Simco. Integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Now see, we started from this point and we have come to this point. Isn't it a miracle? And it has been done in 7 minutes. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.